Hello and welcome to AVN Spotlight, where we highlight one of the AVN tools or resources that you may not use or you may have forgotten about. So today I'm really, really lucky to welcome Andrea, one of our practice growth experts here, and see what she's picked. So what have you chosen today, Andrea? Thank you, Emma. Today I've chosen common mistakes on accountants' websites. Oh, now that's a good one. Go on then, tell me more. Well, I, I work with a lot of members, as you know, day in, day out, Emma, and quite often they will get approached by people who say, you've got to change your website, you've got to improve your website, and if you change your website, the world will become great. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, they take £5,000, £10,000, £15,000 more of them to, to actually sell this solution. And I think we can get a bit cleverer before we go down that road. Oh, brilliant. So what does this resource give them some ideas about? It's a dead simple checklist, Emma. It's a checklist, and you know I love checklists. Mm. And quite simply, open your website, go down the checklist, and mark off what you're doing and if there's any common mistakes there. So you can start to simplify it and you can put in place the right things that will help you get the right clients to your website. It's not it's not rocket science, but it's a really, really good starting point. But I think that's a really brilliant resource to have picked up because you're right, a lot of people, they need to change the website. We talk about that in positioning, don't we, about how people see you in the outside world. Um, and that's your shop window, your mm. website. But it's true, there are a lot of people out there who are earning an awful lot of money um, for changing websites when you could do the majority of the work yourself or at least have a good plan in mind when you do yeah. employ yeah. somebody to help you um, and that's really important isn't absolutely it? it will help you get that return on investment should you decide to make any major changes but quite often you can tweak a website a long long way before you have to rechange it or rebrand it or do something don't spend money that you don't need to on these things start where you need to invest and invest in the right things also Think about this with your clients as well. Fantastic. How many of them have moved on from maybe being a, a small business and then they've actually got a website now and all they want to do is get a better website. And actually the, the purpose of this isn't to have the perfect website, it's to have a website that's fit for purpose. You can help them do this. You could even do an audit on them with this. Crikey. Fantastic, what a great idea. It's another way of selling a new service to your clients. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Andrea. You're welcome, Emma. Okay, see you soon, bye.